All right, just a quick tip for your Tyrannus uh, radio for an alternate battery. Uh, most of us are making the Fat Shark Lithium Ion 18650 batteries. So we have a few of these sitting with us already. Might get out to the field. Our battery's dead in our radio. We can pop one of these in here. It's pretty simple to do. They fit with a nice snug fit. I saw it somewhere else online. I can't really remember where. It was a few months ago, and so I'm just now getting around to doing it. I can't remember who to credit, to credit the idea to, so I do apologize. Um, but it's pretty simple. You're just going to take out the old battery. Um, there's a foam pad that sits on the back of the door here. And what you do is you pull that off and you know, put it on the other side of the, uh, your stock battery. Um, so you can keep the tension in there on the door. And as you see, I just have it here right uh, on the back. I've just relocated it so that the battery sits in there tight still and doesn't move around. And then what you do is you take your Fat Shark battery and it's got the uh, 2S balance plug. It's already uh, pinned out exactly the same. The center pin on the radio has no contact within any, any of the electronics. It's just there for alignment reasons. So you don't have to worry about this removing this pin or anything. You just use the plug like it is. You're going to go ahead and set your plug in here. And then the other thing, remember, I, I almost forgot to tell you, there's two supports right here. And I've already removed them because I've already done the mod. You can, you can see right here and here. And I've just cut those out with a pair of diagonal cutters. Uh, I did see where somebody, if I remember right, somehow they, they ground out a curve or they, they bent it in slightly so they could keep the supports. I didn't find it necessary. These batteries fit so tight, it, they're not going anywhere up in there. So I'm not worried about that. Anyways, so plug your battery in. You're gonna set it in there. Just make sure this edge right here goes right to there. And then you'll see that the, the edge on is right next to the connector on the other side of the battery right there on both sides so it sits in there real nice tuck the uh the barrel connector the one the toughest part about this is getting the uh the back door back on so what you're going to have to do is kind of almost get these two tabs right here in place because the battery is kind of pushing up so you're going to kind of just barely start to slide those on you're going to push the back ones in place and pop it in. Pretty simple. Turns right on, works just the same. Everything works just the same. Uh, your voltages might be a little bit different, but they're pretty close. So you, you can monitor that, make changes if you need to, but they're pretty close with the stock battery. Um, so uh, if you have any suggestions or questions or anything, got any better ideas, let me know. Put them in the comments. Subscribe if you'd like. Thanks.